what up guys welcome back to the channel as you can tell we're at the racetrack we're out here at mocan down in joplin missouri and uh outlaw 10-5 race tomorrow so they've got a prepped uh test and tune tonight so there's a ton of t outlaw 10-5 cars here like some big ass rigs and some fancy ass shit um but we came out to test i kind of wanted to race tomorrow but I kind of sort of have some other obligations, but I wanted to test the car tonight because the temp was going to be good. It's going to be hot tomorrow. Um, if the car does good and I feel like it's worth coming back tomorrow, I'm just probably going to leave the truck and trailer or the car trailer with the car on it here. And then I'll head home. It's like two and a half hours. I'll just leave it here. I'll drive two and a half hours home. I got some stuff to do in the morning and then I'll rush back down uh, late morning, early afternoon tomorrow. So we'll see if we can uh maybe run like a 580 index class or something because the outlaw 10 5 stuff is going to be way too fast for this car but anyways we're gonna attempt to turn it up today and uh gonna try and back up the 546 pass probably on the first hit um i did make a couple shock changes in the front tried to stiffen the front end up just a little bit and uh see if maybe it'll slow it down maybe 60 a little bit better so i'm gonna pull the tune up and then uh we'll get dressed and head up there and Try and get our first pass in. All right, guys, we made our first pass. Um, I left the 546 tune-up in it, and it went slower here. It, mile an hour was down, which the air is not as good today as it was um, at US 36 that day. But it went a 138, 60 foot, and then 561 at 126. Um, like I said, it's down a mile an hour and stuff, but the, the, the air is really thick today. So I'm gonna pull the tune up and pull the log, go over it and kind of see what we're at and then uh, see if we can make some changes and get back to it.
Yeah. Car won a 561, 126. Um, 60 foot was shit because the car only built seven pounds of boost on the trains brake. Um, like I said, the air's not quite as good today as it was when we were up at US 36. Um, I think when we made that pass at US 36, the, the DA was like 1,800 foot. And I think we're at like 2,500 right now. And you can just feel it in the air. It's kind of thick. There's a lot of water in the air. Um, but the 60 foot was a 138 because it only built seven pounds. I don't know what that was about. Um, the hood's on the car, maybe that's it. And that's the only down, that's also another downfall to this track is if I run eighth mile and I shut it down and then the return road going all the way down the quarter to the very last return road coming all the way back, the car gets up to like 210, 215 degrees, um, which isn't awful, but it's more than I would like it to be. Um, I started that run pretty early as far as temp goes. And uh, it does good going down track. It's when you shut it off, it just, like, when you're off the gas, basically, um, you're still going at speed, but the water pump slows down so much, I mean, it just starts to heat up real, real bad. Uh, if I had an electric water pump, probably wouldn't do that. Um, but anyways, I made a change. Uh, bumped the RPM on the leave, 100, to try and get it to make more boost, because with more RPM comes more boost. And... Uh, made or added three more pounds overall so i went from 25 pounds of dome to 28 pounds of dome um i brought it in just a hair sooner um just though just under a second it should be 28 pounds um and then it only made 21 pounds 2021 it was right at like just under 21 so and i short shifted i shifted at 6900 and i wanted to shift at 7200 um, I did bump the rev limiter up because I'm probably going to send it past the light this time. Um, I didn't bring any more chips for my shift light, so I'm gonna set, I'm basically going to wait for the shift light to come on because I didn't this last time and wait for the light to come on and give it just a split second and then I'll bang it. Um, I need this thing needs more RPM. I, everybody I talk to with the SBE stuff, they spin their stuff a lot harder. Um, a lot of guys shift at like 8,000. I'm not going to go that high. Um, but 7,500 is kind of where I want to be. Um, but like I said, the, the shift light set at 7,200 and I can't change that because I don't have the, uh, the auto meter pills for it. So anyways, they're going to run these guys. We'll go up, we'll check out some of that stuff. And uh, then when they call us back up, we'll try and get a second one in. I'd really like to break that 540 here. Um, it should do it, assuming it'll make the boost on the brake. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if the slowing down the front end made any difference mainly because it didn't hit the tire as hard because it didn't make as much boost that pass so i'm not going to change anything there i'm going to leave that alone um and then we'll just try and hit it again hopefully we can get it to make a little bit more boost and get it to leave a little bit harder because we i want that 120 60 foot uh 138 is not going to cut it um if it would have gone on 127 or 128 like it did at us 36 that 561 would have been a mid 540 pass it would have been the exact same thing so running it back it would have been the exact same. It's just the air's a little different, and it wasn't making as much boost on the brakes. So um, the tune-up's, you know, spot on. It's a it's a 540 tune-up. But uh, this hopefully will be like a 530, maybe a, yeah, hopefully a 530 tune-up, um, if I can get it to leave like I want it to. So. second pass uh 60 foot got a little better but it's just the air is just really kicking its ass right now um, 
I added three more pounds of dome on that one and I got a little bit more aggressive with it on the launch. Um, but it's just the 60 foot's not there. I mean, I went on 120, 127 of US 36 for 400. Slower here, a little more boost and everything. So, it's gotta be not built to boost on the brake. So we'll pull along and see what it looks like. But that's a PB for this track. All right, so here's the second pass. Um, we left on a little bit more boost. It, uh, if I can figure out what I'm doing here. It left on about 10, 10 and a half. Let's see, staging output or input on, oh, there it was right there. So as soon as I let go of the button, I jumped to 11.4. Air fuel was a little rich right there. And then it ramped up and I added three more. So it should have been 28 on the dome. Yeah, 28 dome pressure. Made 22, 21, 22, 23. Basically hovered around 23 once it got moving. Yeah, 22, 8, 22, 9, 23. So 28 pounds of dome made 23 pounds of boost. Um, air feels a little rich up top there, 11 0, so we can pull a little bit of fuel out of there. Um, yeah, I mean, it's still in 60 foot quite as well, but the air's not as good, like I said. Um, and that was about two more pounds of boost, pound and a half, two pounds more boost um, than we had up at US 36. Um, and I did actually wait for the light to come on this time. So that was good. I think I run it out to 7,500. Yeah, 7,500 before I shifted. Dropped about 900 RPM. No, 1,200. Yeah, I dropped 1,200 on the shift. So, anyways, we'll uh, make a couple changes. I took the hood off. Let's see, what's the coolant Tim getting like out here at the top of the pass? Let's go back. Uh, coolant temp, top of the run, 196. And it started at 192. So, Anyways, we're going to make a couple changes, clean up the fuel, and then uh, I may add a couple more pounds of dome, try and hit that 25 target, ramping in a lot faster. And uh, well, here I'll show you the boost ramp that I had in it. Yeah, so there's the ramp we had in it. So it was all in by 1-1. One, one. But it hit tw I had 25 in it at point eight, so we might just hit that a little bit more aggressive. And uh, let's see, let's just uh, bam, do that. Let's just send her. And uh, hell, let's just let's just make this 30. One, one, it's a 30. Now we're gonna take that, we're gonna make this 28. And then we'll just smooth this like that. This needs to come down. Maybe we'll make that 16 and uh, we'll give that a whirl. But anyways, change some things, we're gonna run some more out all cars then we'll get back to it here probably in like an hour Got the Mustang home. You know, it was a, I, all in all, I mean, we ran a personal best, one of 545, 129 um, on that pass. Uh, had some issues. Turns out um, 30 pounds of dome ends up being more boost than the map sensor can read. 
Um, very stupid on my part. It cut out twice. You can barely hear it in the video. The car beside me wasn't so damn loud. You've been able to really hear, hear it. But uh, the car got out maybe 20 foot. And you can hear it cut, come back in, cut again. And it all happened before the 60 foot. It cut out twice before it, uh, actually when I shifted in a second and then the boost came down, it loaded the car and then the, leveled the boost off and was like 24 pounds out back. So cutting out twice and I stayed in it too. I was wide open, I just, I just let it do it. Um, cut out twice, shifted into high gear before the 60 foot. Normally I don't shift into high gear until the 330. Um, and the car still ran a 545 and 129 ordered a new map sensor today just throwing that out there um, we're gonna put a four bar map sensor in it i'm um, trying to take it back out i'll obviously do some tuning and stuff rescale into the map sensor but uh all in all not too bad didn't get the the pb that i wanted but we're, we're working towards it so we're gonna get a new map sensor coming for it and uh we'll rescale some stuff and try and get back out before winter comes so